Hey, what's up everyone? So today, after all the chaos of that Apple event, today we're getting back to our roots, taking a look at 11 new and awesome jailbreak tweaks for your device running iOS 11 to 11.3.1. So like, subscribe, all that stuff, more information down below in the description. Let's get into things. So first up, we have Apps Surrey Pin, which lets you pin apps in the Surrey suggestions right here. So again, all these are custom selected. They will not change. So if I go into the settings app, you can actually select which apps you want to pin. And then those are the default ones that are always going to show up right there. Again, I have widget extend to always extend the widgets as well. Secondly, you'll probably notice right off the bat that my icons are down here at the bottom. Same on my second page, my folder of all this hidden extra Apple crap is at the bottom. Anyway, this is done by Gridiculous. It is an awesome tweak that again just allows you to place your icons anywhere on your home screen. Alright, so a pretty small one, but Dia Silent lets you type and uh, basically dial phone numbers without any noise. So this is really nice if you have to make a phone call when you're on the go and you can't be that loud. So again, that one's just a small one, but it's called Dia Silent. So just looking at the settings app real quick, I have these circular icons. Again, that's just done by circle settings. That's a quick and easy tweak that looks just pretty awesome. Next up, now I know this one's pretty old now, but I still love it. Within the control center, we have Cool CC, which basically just removes the background of each control center platter and gives it this awesome white border. And it just looks really sweet with Duo, with Better CC XI, and with Power Module. Anyway, again, that one's called Cool CC. All right, and another variant you can do with your control center is called Roundness. Now, this works great with Cool CC that just rounds your control center icons within it. I really like this one as well. It's a great combo with, again, all the other tweaks that I have going on here that I just talked about. Anyway, that one is called Roundness. All right, one last variant of the control center is called Dark Module CCXI. Again, this basically just makes the control center platters and modules dark, and even the highlights are dark for when you're changing the volume and the brightness. So if you wanted just a dark theme to your control center, that is the tweak to do, and that is Dark Module CCXI. All right, so those are some of my top favorite free tweaks that have come out over the past couple of weeks. Now, I briefly wanted to mention four of my top favorite paid tweaks for you guys who are interested. Now, these are a little bit more advanced and, in my opinion, are worth the money to support these developers. All right, so first up, we have Mapsix. So if I go ahead and open my Maps app, we have this little music icon right up in the top. And if I just force touch on it, you actually have music controls directly within the Maps app. Now, this is awesome when you're on the go in the car, probably shouldn't be using your phone, but at least you can see what song's playing. And if you wanted to quickly change the song with one tap, you can do that right within the Maps app and not have to switch back to Spotify or Apple Music or whatever you're using. Now, while we're in the Music app, I have this awesome tweak installed called Color Flow 4. Now, this not only dynamically changes the background matching the artwork within Spotify and Apple Music, but also if we go to the lock screen right here. We have this awesome music player on the front right here. And so if I just click past uh, this album, again, now you can kind of see um, as I change through different songs, how uh, the background changes dynamically to the album artwork. Anyway, that one is called Color Flow 4, again, with Mapsic in Maps app. The next one I wanted to talk about is called Real LPM, standing for Real Low Power Mode. So if I go over here, um, I have real low power mode toggle right up in the top left. Now this is different from low power mode. This is like a substantially more efficient low power mode than Apple's default. But just wanted to say this before I get into this tweak. I also have this tweak called low power do not disturb. So I can toggle do not disturb and Apple's low power mode like the default low power mode um, by using the do not disturb toggle. Now watch what happens when I click the real low power mode uh, toggle. It's going to perform a respring and when it comes back up you notice my background is now black and again background is black and a lot of things are now disabled. Um, so let me just go into the message or the settings app real fast right here and show you guys some of the things that you can uh, toggle and control here. You can hide the clock, you can hide apps. I mean when you hide apps um, this really gets you into a basic functioning phone. Um, where you pretty much have the dock and you have the time and that is about it. You can't do anything else. 
And again, if you install this tweak, definitely install the toggle with it because it's kind of hard to get out of the low power mode um, as it's enabled by default. Honestly, I think that's one thing they need to change about it is when you first uh, download the app, it should not enable real low power mode as it's kind of difficult to get out of it. Um, I had to actually open up uh, my multitasking pane and then go back into the settings app um, when I only had my dock available. Anyway, that one's real low power mode. It disables a bunch of background stuff that's going on, including your background and even your apps in some cases. But again, that one's called real low power mode. Probably one of my favorites of today because it substantially improves your battery life and performance on your phone when you're running out of battery quickly. All right, and the last one for today is called Message Heads XI. Now again, this one is a paid tweak. It's $2, it's just in beta. I did purchase it. I clicked restore purchase and I'm waiting for an email to confirm my device's identity pretty much. Um, now, as you guys can see, I just restored my device um, for this video. And so unfortunately this time, I don't know why it's taking so long for me to receive that email to activate this tweak. So I'm sorry, unfortunately, I can't show you guys this tweaked in today's video. Maybe I'll do a follow-up video at the end of the day today when I finally get it reactivated. Normally it doesn't take this long, but essentially, if you guys are wondering, all it does is adds a little message head on your home screen or within whatever app you are in that quickly takes you to the messages app. It pulls it up over your screen um, and basically lets you quickly reply in your message thread. And this is for not only the Messages app, Facebook Messenger, WhatsApp, all your typical messaging applications. And it's a really awesome one. I haven't had any issues with it when actually using the tweak. I'm just really surprised it's taking this long to get an email to restore my purchase. Again, when I restored my device, it doesn't recognize it because I set it up as a new device. Um, so sorry, I can't show you guys that today. Um, I really haven't had this issue before, so I'm kind of surprised. So just a heads up uh, with messages heads, uh, no pun intended. Um, if you guys do buy that, just give it some time to receive the email to activate it. Again, it just is in beta and once the public release is out, I'm sure this won't be an issue anymore. It's an awesome tweak once it finally is running. Really haven't run into any issues like I said. Um, and so that's why I still included it in this video to share with you guys. Anyway, if you missed one in today's video, this is the top tweaks list from today's video. Again, all this information and all the repositories for these tweaks are found down below in the description of this video. The ones uh, highlighted right here in bold are the ones that are paid. The rest is entirely free. I hope you guys enjoyed this quick video. Again, thank you so much for watching and subscribing to our channel and being awesome fans. I really appreciate it. Now I'm super happy to say that I successfully pre-ordered the iPhone XS Max last night. So that is some awesome news. I know Tanner ordered the new Apple Watch as well as the XS in the 5.8 inch size. I'm really excited to see what the XR looks like in October. So in the end, I'm really excited to uh, do this unboxing and do some awesome videos with these new Apple products soon to come. But again, jailbreaking is our core bread and butter. So that's why I wanted to make this video for you guys, updating you on some of the latest tweaks that you can install. Anyway, thank you so much for watching, but until next time, this is Tony, signing out.